Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study some simple equations that involve fractions. First of all, I have, I have here an addition equation, where we have the variable plus something, so it's called an addition equation. This one here is called a subtraction equation, because from the variable we subtract something. And over here we have a multiplication equation and a division equation, simple equations. And since half is added to the variable, we need to subtract half from both sides to solve this. So I will subtract one half, subtract one half from both sides. And then we get x alone here, which is what we want. Over here we have minus three-fifths minus one half to calculate now. So this is a fraction subtraction and the denominators are different. So I need to find a common denominator, which is 10 will work. Okay. And I will get 6 tenths minus 5 tenths. So we get minus 6 minus 5. It is minus 11 or negative 11 tenths. Or you can write it as a mixed number, negative 1 and 1 tenth. And you should always check your answer. Check this root. Check if this really is the solution for your equation by substituting it over here. I'm not going to take time to do that calculation now because of the sake of the video, so it doesn't get too long. But that is what you should do every time when you get your solution. Here we have a subtraction equation. From the variable, 7 eighths is subtracted. So to solve the equation, we will add that amount to both sides. We will add 7 eighths to both sides. So we will get on this side y alone, because when we add the 7 eighths, then the negative 7 eighths and plus 7 eighths, they cancel. And then on this side, we will get this plus 7 eighths, right? Again, a simple fraction addition that you have learned to solve in 5th and 6th grades. 7 and 8, I will need a common denominator, which 56 will work. 7 times 8, so 6 times 8 goes here, and then 7 times 7 goes here. And now 48 plus 49 is going to be 97. 97 over 56, which of course as a mixed number would be 1 and then 41 over 56. This here is a multiplication equation, thus 4 times the variable. So to solve it, we will divide both sides by 4, right? We will write 4x over 4 equals now this negative fraction over 4. This looks maybe strange if you haven't seen it before. It's a complex fraction, but all it means is this fraction divided by 4. So that's what we need to do. Of course, here the 4s cancel, so we have x now isolated alone. And here I will write it using the other division symbol, like that. Okay? Look more familiar now? And now we need to use the normal way of dividing fractions, which is that you change it into a multiplication. You have negative 2 ninths times, and then the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. So that's what we need to calculate here. And 2 and 4 I can simplify here, leaving 1 here and 2 here. So then it is 1 over 18, but it is negative. Negative 1 over 18 is the final answer. Over here, the variable is divided by something. So then we solve the equation by multiplying both sides by negative 7. Okay, so we get negative 7 times a over negative 7. And then on this side, negative 7 times 2 fifths. Here the negative 7 is now cancelled, so a is now left alone on this side, which is good. Now here is a number, a whole number times a fraction. It's a negative number, so my answer will be negative. But I can calculate it as, okay, it's going to be a negative answer. And then 7 times, think of it as 7 over 1 times 2 fifths, if that is easier. And we get 14 over 5. A equals negative 14 over 5, which is the same as negative 2 and 4 fifths. There. This one here is a little bit different from the ones before, because now the variable is multiplied by a fraction. And, of course, it is a multiplication equation, again, so we can solve it by 
dividing both sides by this fraction. However, remember that when you divide by a fraction, you always have to change that into a multiplication, right? If you divide something by 3 fourths, you have to actually change the problem into a multiplication by the reciprocal, right? You have to multiply by 4 thirds. So that is why in this equation, instead of dividing both sides, I will just go straight to multiplying by 4 thirds. So we have 4 thirds times 3 fourths times x, and then 4 thirds times 7 on this side. And now you can see over here this 4, 3, 3, 4, they cancel. Okay, 3's cancel, 4's cancel, so x is left alone. That is good, x is isolated now. And over here we multiply 7 times 4 is 28, and then over 3, which this is now 9 and 1 third. Here is the exact same situation. It looks a little bit different because the 2 and x are together on top of the line. But this is the same exact equation as 2 fifths times x. Okay, so again we do the same as what we did here. We will multiply it by 5 over 2, so that the 2 and 5 both will cancel. So we multiply it by 5 over 2, and then you have 2x over 5. Okay, and then here, same thing here, 5 over 2 times negative 1 half. So now here everything cancels except the x. Over here, nothing simplifies, we just multiply 5 times 1 and 2 times 2. The answer will be negative fraction because it's positive, positive times negative, so I get negative, and then 5 over 4, which is negative 1 and 1 fourth. This one here might look a little bit more complicated, but it's not really. You see, I can flip this side so that I get my x on the left side. So I'll write it just 2x over 11 equals this here on the other side, for starters. The next thing I can do is simplify on the right side. I can calculate 5 plus negative 7. That's negative 2, right? So I get 2x over 11 equals negative 2. Now it is exactly like we had here and here. We need to multiply so that these two elevenths here will cancel out. So we multiply by 11 over 2. Right. 11 over 2 times 2x over 11. On this side, 11 over 2 times negative 2. Those cancel, x is left alone. Over here, 2 and 2 cancel too. So there's the negative 1 there now, negative 1. So we get negative 11, a whole number this time. Lastly, a over 5 sixths, or a divided by 5 sixths. Okay, so here's a variable divided by something. It's a division equation, so we would multiply, right? We would multiply by 5 sixths to solve the equation. Now, you don't normally see it written this way. Normally, you would see 6a over 5, okay? But I chose it as an example of a complex fraction here. Multiply both sides by 5 sixths. So 5 sixths times a over 5 sixths looks kind of like that. Equals then over here in this side 5 sixths times this negative 2 and a half. Okay. Over here this now cancel. A is left alone. Over here a fraction multiplication but there's a mixed number. You need to change that into a fraction first. So we have 5 sixths times negative 5 over 2. There's a negative there too. Here I will multiply. Nothing cancels or simplifies before multiplying, so I'll get 25 over 12, but it is negative. 25 over 12, which is negative 2 and 1 twelfth. Okay, all, that, all done with these equations, and I hope this was helpful.